Welcome to RelapsePreventionPlan.net's free online rehab lessons. We believe that it's never too late to learn to prevent relapse. Welcome to this presentation about common life problems after quitting or rehab. In this presentation, you'll learn to describe five common life problems that result from the addiction lifestyle, describe four common life problems and describe one positive action for each, and list five actions that help create a balanced lifestyle and three reasons to live a balanced lifestyle. Aim for success, not perfection. Never give up your right to be wrong because then you will lose the ability to learn new things and move forward with your life. Common problems result from addiction. People quit using in response to problems. The realization that drug or alcohol use does not make the demands, responsibilities, and troubles of everyday life go away and the development of physical tolerance to the drugs and alcohol, resulting in more time, energy, and money spent on using and drinking. Common problems of the addiction lifestyle. Three, worsening of neglected life concerns, which increase stress. Negative fallout from damaged relationships, work or acad academic failure, and serious medical or legal complications. An advanced state of emotional problems, physical problems, and life crisis. Addiction can be a response to life problems. Negative life events such as grief and loss can be a trigger to use. Any major negative life event can stimulate the use of drugs or alcohol as a means to cope with the event, such as a sudden death. Continued use after the event leads to increased depression, anxiety, and anger. Drug or alcohol abuse can continue until the person comes to terms with the loss and develops effective coping skills to manage the normal and the unexpected losses that occur in life. Negative life events can cause a reduction in self-esteem and a fear of future life events. If life problems were part of the onset of substance abuse, learning the coping skills required to manage life problems, negative emotions, dysfunctional beliefs, and negative cues is effective in reducing relapse. Addiction can be part of an adopted lifestyle. After being introduced socially to drugs or alcohol, people with a reasonably positive lifestyle continue to use drugs or alcohol. Continued use leads to academic and work failure, family conflicts, loss of home or financial and legal troubles. Continue, continue using until they experience physical problems, emotional problems and a life crisis. Cognitive skills training is effective in breaking the cycle of abuse through the development of the functional beliefs, coping techniques, and planned changes in lifestyle. Here's the cycle of life problems and drug abuse. So belief, so life problems start out such as an unemployment, grief, or family conflict, which leads to beliefs such as I'm a failure, life is hopeless, drugs can't hurt me which leads to automatic thoughts such as I might as well drink or get high now, which leads to cravings and urges, which leads to drug seeking behaviors and actions, which ends up in people using, which creates more life problems, which creates more beliefs and so on. It's a vicious cycle. Some life problems can include uh, that they occurred prior to abuse and played a strong role in starting the substance abuse cycle or are the result of substance abuse. 
Life problems that are the result of substance abuse are readily dealt with when the abuse cycle is broken and some problems will cease with the ending of substance abuse. Once you quit, the problems, those type of problems will go away. All people have problems. You'll be able to face life problems with less fear and anxiety and be better prepared to resolve all life problems as they occur when you effectively use the tools that are taught in the workbook, make your last relapse the last, and continue to develop your skills after completing the workbook. Common life problems you will need to manage include marital and family problems, social and economic problems, daily stressors, health problems. So let's jump right into it. Marital and family problems. To prevent relapse, it is important for you to be aware of and avoid people, places, and things that you associate with the using of drugs and alcohol. Practice and use coping skills to manage the drug and alcohol-related cues that may be unavoidable in your daily life. It's unrealistic to expect that you can solve the addiction problems of friends and family. So it's safer to maintain some distance from actively using people and to stay focused on your own relapse prevention. But if you choose to stay involved with an addicted partner or friend, relationship problems will occur. They will put you at risk of relapse and cause you continued stress. Stress will result from the addicted person's erratic mood swings, reckless and irresponsible financial and sexual behavior, a risk of major legal and medical consequences, and endangering you with AIDS or other STDs, and luring you into relapse, into relapsing into drug or alcohol use once again. You may be faced with a partner or living mate who is addicted. When a partner or living mate is drug or alcohol addicted and refuses to acknowledge the problem or get help, it is better not to return to the household or induce the other to leave. It's important to emphasize that this need not signal a permanent end to the relationship but such a move may be necessary for your safe recovery at the present time. It's inaccurate to believe that your staying with them will automatically cause a reduction in your partner's use or increase their desire to quit using. If you, stay, if you choose to stay with a drug addicted partner, it's important to focus on your problem solving skills and coping skills and be alert for an increasing level of stress caused by your partner's life problems and emotional problems due to their active addiction. All marriages have, have some problems. Problems in marriage or love relationships can be a cue for renewing drug or alcohol abuse because using can provide a temporary false sense of increased self-esteem when things are going wrong be a way of exerting control in the relationship by defying the partner and in inducing a false sense of invulnerability in the person using. Be a way to reduce anger or smooth over other negative feelings towards the partner. And be an escape from unhappiness, particularly if the person using sees that there is no way to solve the problem or to leave the relationship. So what do you do if you have relationship problems? Use unhappiness and anger in your relationships as cues to take action or seek counseling. When drug and alcohol abuse end, relationships often need renewal and healing. After quitting or rehab, use your improved communication skills and improved rational thinking to talk with your partner about how the two of you will work together to improve your relationship and move ahead. Make a plan with your partner on how you will accomplish your new relationship goals. All married couples should learn the art of battle, as they should learn the art of making love. 
Good battle is objective and honest, never vicious or cruel. Good battle is healthy and constructive and brings to marriage the principle of equal partnership. Social and money problems. People who face low income due to limited training, skills, and opportunity may use drugs and alcohol to manage some of the emotions and feelings resulting from limited opportunity and income. Exiting the cycle of abuse won't give you more money instantly and it will result in increased opportunity to take better advantage of your skills and to plan for and work towards progress so while it won't get you more money right away it will help you move in the right direction so that you can get more money improving your level of income takes time and this can be particularly discouraging if you have little tolerance for longer term goal planning Cognitive skills training can assist in putting balance into the perspective of I can never succeed and assist in developing the skills necessary to manage and succeed at meeting your life goals. High income people can become involved in a cycle of drug and alcohol abuse to increase energy, confidence, manage pressure, or to be part of a business lifestyle that includes use. Cognitive skills training can assist with changing mistaken beliefs and provide ways to manage pressure to use, anxiety, social pressures, and required lifestyle changes. A factor that both high and low income people have in common is vulnerability to peer pressure. People who quit are frequently confronted after they quit by friends and associates who urge them to use, share, and sell drugs. Some are pressured to prove once more that they are one of the gang or that they have the guts to use drugs heavily again. Some may be motivated to use again by a need to gain or maintain acceptance with those who use and have money and power. You may believe you will be deprived of meaningful social contact and employment if you avoid every substance abuser you know. Yet it's really important to find and maintain contact with and friendships with people who do not use drugs and alcohol. If peer pressure is a big factor in your substance abuse cycle, you need, may need to work on your need for social acceptance and your self-esteem. Write it down right now if you feel like that's you. Cognitive skills, problem solving skills, and communication skills training can help improve your social skills so that drugs and alcohol are no longer part of your social solution. Associate yourself with men of good quality if you esteem your own rep reputation, for it's better to be alone than in bad company. Everyday stress. You will still be faced with mundane problems and stressors that can serve as triggers for drug or alcohol use. Accumulation of such niggling stressful events and feelings experienced day after day can encourage you to return to drugs or alcohol to get through the day. Practicing and using relaxation and cognitive coping skills will help you manage and reduce stress and frustration. Using rational responses can decrease the emotional impact of minor troublesome problems and occurrences. Stressors of daily living are any events that trigger a sense of frustration, anxiety, anger, fatigue, and loneliness. Your success at preventing relapse requires you to anticipate some triggers and to manage them, and to maintain your stress resilience through exercise, sleep, diet, relaxation, a sense of humor, and taking good care of your health. If you are distressed by anything external, the pain is not due to the thing itself, but your, to your estimate of it, and this you have the power to revoke at any moment. Health problems. Even when you have given up drugs and alcohol altogether, the health consequences of the abuse may linger indefinitely, 
causing mental and physical pain, worry and hopelessness, renewed urge to self-medicate via drugs or alcohol. Ain't it a bitch? I go to the doctor and pay him 75 bucks and it don't help me. But I go to some cat and pay him $10 for a bag of shit and my ulcers don't hurt, my heart troubles is gone. And you're trying to tell me that this is the man I'm supposed to stay away from? Mr. Gillespie, my comrade in arms, this is what I call a paradox. Get quality medical care. While abusing drugs, most people do not get or follow medical advice. It's really important that after you quit, you have a regular physician and that you know and trust to receive regular health care. Untreated communicable diseases are a high risk for those who have abused drugs or alcohol. Get treated for infections you may have, you may have picked up and make sure any heart, respiratory, nervous system, or liver damage are identified and treated. It can be hard to find a good doctor, so don't give up. Develop a balanced lifestyle to reduce problems and relapse. Do several small positive things every day that make you feel happy. Improve your health and well-being through regular exercise, diet, sleep, and relaxation. Improve your relationships by practicing and using communication and conflict management skills. Practice safe sex and limit your partners. And use cognitive and relaxation skills to reduce depression, anger, loneliness, anxiety, and boredom. Live a balanced lifestyle. You'll be better prepared and able to manage short-term and chronic health issues. Manage the emotions and thoughts that result when faced with illness or decreased health. Stick with a treatment plan and achieve increased health when you are ill. Manage daily stressors. Manage relationship problems. And manage your work and school problems. Practice coping skills for confidence to manage life problems. Marital and family problems. Everyone has them now and then. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Socioeconomic problems. Everyone has these now and then. Daily stressors. Everyone has them. And health problems. You got it. Most people have them. Your future has fewer problems and more joy. Commit to your new life goals and abstinence, and you can make sweeping changes to your life. Positive changes in health and relationships result quickly from achieving and maintaining a balanced lifestyle. You will experience fewer life problems, and you will be better able to manage those that do come along. You can look forward to more fun, improved health, greater success in work, school, and relationships. You will experience more joy in your daily life. The best way to predict the future is to invent it. Here are the references for this presentation if you'd like to look into things more. And today you learned to describe five common life problems that result from the addiction lifestyle to describe four common life problems and describe one positive action for each, and list five actions that can help create a balanced lifestyle and three reasons to live a balanced lifestyle. Don't forget to read and complete chapter 11 in our free downloadable workbook, Make Your Last Relapse the Last, at relapsepreventionplan.net. Remember, this video is not a substitute for proper medical care and consultation with your physician or qualified healthcare professional. Don't ignore professional advice or delay seeking treatment based on the information in this video or on this YouTube channel. Thank you for joining us. You can do it. We believe in you, so don't give up.